Hi YouTube, this is DK James 5 and I wanted to do a part 2 to my first video why I started making YouTube videos. This second part is kind of geared towards you to those of you that want to start making YouTube videos and you kind of don't know where to start. I wanted to share tips because I saw I saw Love and the Natural Me and Tracy920. I saw both of them sharing tips and I would say first you want to find a good editing software. Free ones are One True Media, uh, Windows Movie Maker. Um, also, yeah, that's about it. Those the uh, there might be others. Uh, that's just a couple of ones that I've used. And um, if you want to purchase some, the only one I can think of is Adobe Premiere. Adobe Pre Premiere Elements Eight. That's what I purchased. And now, when I first purchased that, I had my older computer. I did not like how it worked. It because it took up so much space on the computer. That's why. It made the computer slow, so I was thinking I wasted a hundred dollars because trust me, that's how much it is. And I was like, I, I thought I wasted it until I purchased my HP computer. It's for my computer for my business and everything. And once I purchased that, put it on here, it was like nothing, you know, being on this computer because this is like, what is it like eight? I'm trying to think how much space I have on this uh, computer. I'm looking around to see on the screen, but anyways, so. It started working properly. I didn't have anyone to teach me how to make videos, how to edit it. I just kind of learned. You kind of get the feel for it. Uh, and so, yes, I did that. Uh, you want to make sure that you have the music you use. Try to find royalty-free music. The reason why I say that, because in the future, as you build uh, subscribers, because I'm going to be applying for partnership next month. And I had to actually get rid of a lot of my older videos because it had copyrighted music. You know, I like Whitney Houston. I like, you know, so I'd have all of her music on my videos and, you know, <laughs> different artists that I enjoy listening to. I didn't realize, though, that, uh, you know, copyright music, you know, and, and if you notice, if you do upload it, you'll see it um, saying, what is it? It'll let you know that it's this video and it may not show and this certain cert, such and such country or whatever, you want to make sure your videos are accessible to anyone anywhere. So, of course, once I realized that, you know, so I had to remove a lot of my videos. Trust me, guys, I had lots of videos. And I had to remove a lot of them because of the copyright music. So I would suggest to those of you that if you plan to, to have a channel and you want a lot of subscribers, either don't have any music <laughs> or if you have an intro music or something like that, find royalty free music. And I'm actually going to put some links up here that, um, here's one link, um, but you can search to find, um, different places that you can buy royalty free music, you know, and, or if I actually have, uh, what is it? The magics, it's M A G I X music maker 16. Pre That's what I have. I, I haven't really used it much, but you can make your own music. So I do have that software so you can make your own. Um, yes. So that's about it about that. So you want to find you some good music, find a good location. Like right now. Yes. The lighting is a lot better than it was last night, but look, I, that was the best I could do <laughs> on that video. Uh, that it was nighttime. My lights aren't super bright in the office. And because um, I prefer it that way, it doesn't have to be super bright because I can still see and everything. But on camera, it looks so dark. But, and I would, just like Tracy920 suggested to me, having like a a lamp behind the camera. The only thing is, the only thing I have like that, it, it's super bright. It's like a spotlight. And that would be too bright. So sometimes, if that's the best you can do, it's understandable. Look, and you can just apologize to your viewers. Say, look, I apologize for the lighting, you know, and things like that. I can understand though if you have consistently consistently a lot of dark videos, people are not going to probably want to watch and everything. For, but for me, so there are times. Look, that's the best I can do because it's a webcam. I can directly upload it to. Now sometimes I do edit my webcam uh, videos. I do, but there are times I just upload directly. Like I'm going to do this one. I'm going to upload it directly to YouTube, and it's it's so much easier and quicker doing it that way. Um, but yes, yeah, so find a good location. Just find a place in, where you're not going to get interrupted. But I'm going to tell you, I have three kids. I have a four-year-old, a six-year-old, and a seven-year-old. And there are times they're going to run in and interrupt me. I can't help that all the time. You know, so I try my best to do a video where I know they're not, if they're busy, if they're playing or something. See, I'm a homeschool mom, stay-at-home mom. 
business mom, whatever you want to call it, but I'm just saying, so there are times when they're going to bust in and, and sometimes I just leave that in the video. I don't even edit it out and things, but I'm saying try your best to find a location. If you like doing it in the bathroom, sometimes I did a lot of my videos in the bathroom. Sometimes I like being here in my office too. So it's kind of a change of scenery. Whenever my husband's home, I'll say, "Hun, can you please just keep the kids in there while I do my video? And because um, my husband, he's camera shy. Like he who would want to be in the videos. <laughs> but he makes sure, he does make sure and keep them away while I'm doing my video. He'll say, look, mom's doing her video. Don't interrupt her. Things like that. So I would say, yes, find a good location. And when you have, when you ha use a camera, when you look at that camera, imagine it's the person that you're talking to. You're talking one on one with that person. You look into the lens right there. You're looking in there, and you know don't don't try to look off to the side and talk. Yeah, or you're looking. You want to look directly in the camera, so you make the person watching feel like you're they're actually you're actually talking to them. So that's what I've learned to just you know make and be yourself be yourself don't try to act like anybody else just be yourself and also if you're the organized kind of person that you like to you don't want to ramble and things i would say write down your pointers on a piece of paper what you're going to go over in your video then do it that way i don't i may think of oh i want to do a video about that then i just go ahead turn the video the camera on and just start sometimes i may ramble but that's just how I am. But for those of you that don't want to ramble, I would say jot down a few pointers. I do do that sometimes just so I can make sure I get the top points that I want to get across to you guys. I may do that. But yes, yeah, so it, it's really that, you know, it's that simple, you know, to starting your YouTube channel and, you know, have your focus. If you if you're kind of like you like doing a lot of different things, then you just do it and just just be yourself. But yes, I wanted to share my pointers and tips. And I got, because I watched Tracy920 and Loving the Natural Me, and I noticed they were sharing tips and stuff. And I was thinking, you know, I need to do a part two and share my tips as well. And Loving the Natural Me, <laughs> she was making me laugh because she was talking about how when she first started and she was doing that, um, 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 <laughs> she was making me laugh because I did, the reason why I laughed because I did the same thing. But see, you wouldn't see my older videos because I had to delete them. But I did a lot of the ums. I, I, I don't know how many ums were in my first videos, but it was a lot. And, and then, of course, when you watch back, you're like, oh, goodness, you know. So I would say just, just be comfortable. Don't, you don't really have any, I, I mean, I understand there's a lot of people that may watch your video, just like Tracy920 say, and, have, and really think before you do a video. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to watch it. So be careful what you say and things like that. So I hope these tips have helped you in some way. I want to, you know, do a part two to help you guys and share some tips that may help you. And I hope I covered everything because I actually did this video before. And then I realized I didn't talk about like music and stuff like I wanted to. But but yeah, so the reason why I talk about the copyrighted music is because let's say if you want to be, if you get up to thousands of subscribers and you want to do partnership, you want to enable revenue share on your videos, you got to make sure you have royalty free music, you know, so, and you can read, you can click on revenue share and all that kind of stuff on YouTube. They have information on that if you want more information on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this helped you. And if you plan to do videos, let me know so I can go head over there to your channel and watch your videos. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to love the hair and body God gave you. Bye.